Gilbert van Kirchhofer comes from Belgium. During 40 years in Beijing, he has witnessed the city's rapid development. The first time you come to Beijing, Tiananmen and Gugong is a very impressive. I would say mm. Tiananmen is the central axis. It's like the most important point of the whole central axis. The central axis in Beijing, as a matter of fact, many foreigners are not very familiar. This week I was discussing with other foreigners and I said, central axis, they said, central axis, what is east-west? I said, no, 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 central axis is north-south. Gilbert thinks he can help the world learn more about Beijing. Gilbert has spent most of his life in Beijing. He has experienced every big moment in the city's recent history. Prior to Beijing hosting the 2008 Summer Olympics, he was involved in many of the preparations. I also took several Beijing delegations I took to Europe to investigate how, you know, urban planning was done, how the Olympics were being planned, like in Spain and in Greece and in France and in Germany. Uh, so uh, it's not really urban planning. I just help uh, to introduce and let specialists talk with each other. Gilbert regularly acts as an advisor on Beijing's urban planning projects. Obviously to maintain food and water in the imperial city. John van der Water is an architect. He's currently working on the renovation of the historic Lumi Warehouse, a former granary in the Ming and Qing dynasties. I think the beauty of this place is we got here a 600-year-old building, long, long history from Ming Dynasty all the way till now. So 600 years. Oh, almost 600 years. Don't forget to come to the old China. Gilbert believes that John needs to know more about Beijing's past and future. Is it uh, originally? But it's also possible for him to link it with Western thinking and Chinese thinking. So it's a, uh, it's, it's very precious the amount of experience he has and the way he can translate that into concrete ideas but also in his idea about what can work and what may not work. Actually what many people don't look at, but you look at Beijing, it's just all rectangles, right? Mm. And the central axis cuts through it. Mm. It's actually the Chinese sign for Zhong. Zhong for the Zhong. <laughs> so, everything is concentrated here on this uh, axis. It's a spatial concept, this axis, yeah. which is growing, growing, growing. And the beauty of this axis is that it connects not only history, so this is really like, for me it's like one of the core spaces of, uh, of the way Beijing grew, and Beijing can uh, grow further into the future. Time passes but the priceless cultural legacy represented by the central axis remains. With the changing of the seasons and from one year to the next, the central axis has negotiated the ups and downs of history, ultimately revealing to the world a city that is rich in diversity. With its enduring vitality, the central axis has integrated different people, different periods and different cultures allowing them to embrace one another and develop together. Beijing, this ancient city, is a window showcasing to the world the enduring vitality of Chinese civilization.